Okay, the next step, we are going to do quotation for the customer. That is step five. So step one is inquiry. We giving them information. Step two, uh, step two of the process. Sorry, step four is giving information. Step five is quotation. So to do quotation is inside logistic sales and distribution sales quotation create. Okay. Now, in this screen, we're going to enter the quotation type, that is QD. Make sure the organizational data is correct, sales of is UE00 WHPI. Now, we're going to click on create with reference. We're going to refer this quotation to the correct inquiry, so that you don't need to insert the 5 deluxe touring by and 2 professional touring by information again. So you notice there is a lot of inquiry here. So we're going to try to search by customer PO number. This is the one that you defined earlier during the inquiry. I defined it as 1005. Press on enter. Then you can only see one selection. This is the one inquiry that I've created for the bike zone. Okay, if you're happy with what you found in the search hub, then double click on that information. So it's going to be populated there and you can click on copy. So it copied the information that is related to the inquiry to your quotation. This is the part where you're going to be confirming on this uh, transaction. Insert the customer reference, 1005, the date will be the date that you're using this application and valid to I'm going to be using one month from today. You can use longer if you wanted to. Now, delivery date, this is going to be different. We're going to insert one month from today. We're not going to be able to deliver the item on the date that we created this quotation because we still need to create a sales order so we're going to put one month from today for the required delivery date or you can choose to deliver it later than that three months from now no problem so press on enter so you're going to get this warning screen, you can click on OK, no problem, warning, you can skip it, press on enter again, and the system is going to confirm that everything is OK, and you can continue with the next step, that is we're going to give some discounts or price deduction for this order. This is where you're going to be negotiating with your customer on the pricing. Now, let us try to insert price deduction for one item. Click on the XDR bike, click on item condition. Now, we're going to insert one condition type that is K004, material discount. We're going to give around According to the case study, we're going to give around $50. So insert here, conditional type. You can insert directly or you can search through the search hub K004 and insert the amount. Amount we're going to be giving 50. So the amount, please follow the instruction. If you're going to give a different price, then you're going to be expecting a different output when you reach the end of the sales and distribution case study. Press on enter. It's going to populate all the different information related to the K004 condition type. Okay, there's one way to do it. And we're going to give further price reduction. Press on back. Now, we're going to give to the overall order. Go to the header menu, go to hot, go to header conditions. Okay, now this part here will apply to the whole order. 
before this is only applies to the deluxe touring bike, not the professional. So we're going to insert here our A00 discount percentage of discount from net price. We're going to give 5% discount and afterwards press on enter to see the information being populated and the amount is being recalculated. Click on activate. Save it. Okay, and then you are done with this step. So the next step, we're going to confirm the sales by creating a sales order. So if you want to view back on your quotation, you can use this function. Search by purchase order 1005, click on enter. Choose on your quotation number, press on enter, and you can see this is the new pricing after the, odd, the discount has already been done. Just to check back, on the K004, and also, that will be all for the quotation.